Okay, welcome, and this video is a welcome video for uh, either uh, for Math 142 um, or Math uh, 222. Um, again, the welcome video is going to be for both classes. Um, the only difference is the material that we cover, and so uh, keep in mind that for 142, uh, we don't cover as many topics. And we don't go into as much depth. So, um, again, I'm going to go through this video. Uh, this one's going to be geared towards, um, I'm going to use one of my 142 uh, classes. But again, the information is going to be pretty much the same as what I would give in uh, Math 222 as a welcome video. Okay, so just again, pay attention to the syllabus, uh, your own, the own syllabus. The blackboard is set up pretty much the same. Again, the only difference is um, the amount of topics we cover in each class and the amount of depth we go in. Okay, so now with that being said, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through uh, blackboard and then I'm going to go through the syllabus um, as far as what is on each. Okay, so here on the blackboard sites, um, we have the welcome and introduction. This is where the welcome video is located. Okay. Okay. And so this is where the welcome video is going to be. Now this is an old video, so th this one will be updated. Okay. Um, Here is a video for the flipped classroom. Because this is a flipped classroom, um, you I would definitely recommend and expect you to watch the video. It's only about five minutes long. And then here's just some information about myself, uh, interesting tidbits and things like that that, are, that I would uh, that I that I think is interesting that you might find interesting about myself. Um, the intro, this is just instructor information, just email, but this is all in the syllabus, so this is just. Uh, um, some information here, math lab. Um, uh, let's see here. Yeah, and this is okay. So this needs to be uh, deleted. I've got some repetition here, but uh, just mainly some information for me, mainly my email. But again, this is on the um, syllabus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the syllabus. So again, um, the syllabus um, may not have the detailed information that the syllabus for your class has, um, but the general information will be the same. So I'm going to go through this one, but keep in mind that the room numbers, the times, the dates, and things like that, the days you meet, may be different than the class that you're taking because this video is being used for one specific class but to be applied to all of the classes that I teach okay and then here's the math tutor availability uh, over at the University Center um, and here's emergency procedures okay so let's jump to the syllabus okay so here's the syllabus again keep in mind that uh, th this information may not match um, in detail with what the syllabus is on Blackboard. So make sure you go to your Blackboard site and print off and read the syllabus um, for the detailed information specific to your class. Okay, so this syllabus was made for Math 142, this section uh, for spring of 2020. Okay, so again, this may not apply to your class. Um, over here is going to be the room number, uh, the times you meet, days, and, and credit hours. Over here is going to be information for contacting me, my name, my email, and then here's the course webpage through Blackboard. And uh, here's the required book and the graphing calculator. So again, please make sure you have a T84 uh, so that you have all the functions that we're going to be using in this class. We're going to be using the calculator a lot. And so you're going to want to uh, have a T84, okay, or you could have a T89 and stuff like that, but a T84 would be 
um, the minimum. If you have a T83, that'll work, but some functions will not be uh, will not be on there. So that's why I say T84. Uh, these are the prerequisites. I'm not going to spend time on that. Course description. Uh, make sure you read that. Uh, general course outlines. Okay, here's the grading scale, uh, grading policy, uh, the grading scale, if you will. So here are the weights. So there are going to be four exams in this class. Each exam is 12% of your grade. Homework is worth 10% of your grade. Quizzes, attendance, Excel projects, and final exam. Okay. And uh, here's the cutoffs for the grades in the course. Okay. So keep it. So make sure you understand this policy. Okay. And the weights. Okay. Lecture videos. So. Because this is a flipped classroom, you're going to be watching videos outside of class in preparation for class. So you need to watch the videos before class time um, for the material that's scheduled to go over that day. Okay, because when you come to class, you're not going to have a lecture. It's going to be time to come in and ask questions, work on problems, homework. Um, group projects, um, Excel projects. I mean, when you come to class, you're going to be applying and you, you're going to want to ask questions. You're going to, if you get stuck on something like the homework or suggested problems or the exercise at the end of each section or at the end of the chapters, um, you're going to want to come to class and ask those questions. Or if you get stuck on something, you can email me and hey, say, hey, Mr. C, can you work on this in class? Or, you know, I didn't understand this one in the video. Can you go over this again? So again, please keep in mind that the most important part of this class is it is a flipped classroom, which is a better way of learning. And it allows you to be able to watch the videos outside of class and then come in to class ready to learn the material and apply the material that you've learned from the videos. Okay. And this is different than the traditional lecture method where you come into class, you sit through a lecture, you take your notes, and then you go home and, and work on the problems. And then if you get stuck, then, well, you got to either figure it out for yourself, figure out a way to get to office hours. If there are office hours, many adjuncts don't, like myself, do not have office hours, uh, usually because we either work during the day or we teach at other colleges. So again, um, uh, or, or or the tutoring center, right? You could go to the tutoring center, which is I highly recommend you use the tutoring center. But if you can't get to the tutoring center in the traditional method, you're pretty much left on your own. Well, in the flipped classroom, we're gonna flip it in the sense that now you're going to watch the videos at your leisure when it's best for you. You know, when you have time outside of class, you're gonna watch the videos take notes on the videos just like you would in class if it was a lecture and then you get to come to class with to ask questions to work on homework to apply things to work we'll work out examples in class and that's so instead of waiting to get your questions answered I will be there as the professional educator to help you okay um, so again this is the way it's going to work so make sure you watch the video on the flipped classroom so you get an understanding of how this is going to work I mean I'll talk more about this on the first day class but make sure you read the syllabus make sure you watch the videos so that you are well prepared for the first day of class and so the thing is is look at the syllabus you're going to want to start watching the videos before the first day of class okay so keep that in mind <clears throat> okay so now and remember, it's not more work for the flipped classroom. It's the same amount of work, just different, flipped. Um, so exams, okay, there are four exams, okay. So I have the dates of those exams in the syllabus. I'll show you in a second. Um, but again, make sure you understand that there are four exams in this class. There will be no makeup exams, okay. There will be absolutely no uh, makeup exams. So you do not want to miss an exam because it will be a zero. OK, uh, the only uh, the only reason for a makeup exam would be uh, because if you're if you're pregnant and you can't make the exam due to some complications uh, because of the pregnancy, uh, like preeclampsia or something like that. OK, um, I do allow 
Oh, and by the way, documentation is always required, okay, without, without question, uh, when it comes to um, medical reasons of not missing class. Um, now, I do, I do allow students to take the exam before the exam date. So if you know something comes up and you know you're going to be out of town or let's say there's a wedding or something that was planned and you can't get out of it, um, then I will allow you to take the exam early. But it has to be approved by me. I make the decision whether it's a valid reason to miss class. Okay, uh, A visit to a college campus uh, is not a valid reason. Those are scheduled by you um, and you can uh, schedule those around your exam um, dates. Okay, But something like a wedding or a family trip uh, that was planned months ago that you know you can't get out of that those are things that uh, obviously I can I can work with okay uh, no electronic devices out during the exam the only electronic device you're allowed to have is a graphing calculator so everything else ex uh, except for a calculator needs to be put away turned off out of sight okay uh, no sharing of calculators if you uh, so please make sure you don't forget your calculator always carry it with you even when it's not an exam day you should always have your calculator like I said we're gonna be working in class you're gonna need your calculator okay we're gonna be doing a lot of work with the calculator okay um, I don't borrow my calculator because usually I'm using it during the exam um, so I don't borrow my calculator okay and um, also make sure your batteries are charged or have new batteries in there um, at the beginning of the semester okay um, a fresh pair of batteries, uh, or especially if you're borrowing a calculator for the semester from someone, uh, it's always wise to just purchase brand new uh, batteries um, because I don't have extra calculators to give you. So either make sure you know make sure you bring it to class every day so you don't forget it, and also make sure it has good batteries in there. Okay. Once I hand back the exams, you'll have one week to. Um, bring any mistakes I made up to me you know if I made a mistake I want to correct those so if I made a mistake somewhere you'll have a week to bring that to me or if you want to ask me a question about the exam or if you think I took too many points off or if I marked something wrong that shouldn't have been marked wrong um, anything like that you can bring up to me and uh, I'll consider it uh, worst case scenario is I say no and I'll always give reasons why I took points off or why I'm not going to change something uh, you know like like that sometimes I do change things so again you'll never know unless you ask but after a week has gone by I don't make any changes to anybody's score even if it turns out to be something that was my fault um, I think a week is long enough for you guys to make sure that you check your answers and bring anything up to my bring anything to my attention that needs to be brought up okay so moving on, here are the exam dates. So again, this I, I make it very easy for you to use the syllabus um, to know when things are due. Okay. So if you ask me when something's due, uh, chances are I'm just going to say I don't know. Check the syllabus because to be honest with you, once I have the syllabus set, the only thing I look at is pretty much the due dates and topics I'm going to be covering in class or the the videos that you guys need to have watched so that I'm prepared for class. Uh, for any questions you might ask me. Okay. Other than that, I, I really don't pay attention to, to any other due dates. Okay. I, I leave that in your, your capable hands. Um, homework. Okay. So homework is online homework. It's done through my, uh, through Blackboard. Okay. So again, uh, pay attention to the due dates. I'll show you where those are in a moment, but pay attention to the due dates. I do drop the lowest three homework scores. So I do not accept any late homework for any reason whatsoever. So if you have Blackboard issues, computer issues, um, I am always telling students to make sure you have homework done before the due date. Um, don't wait till the due date to, to get the homework done. Okay, You've got plenty of time once we start doing the material to start working on the homework. You should be working on the homework every single day. You should spend time working on the homework. Okay, again, this gets into a time management um, issue. Okay, so how I, I don't know what your schedules are. 
Okay, I don't know what you, uh, other obligations you have outside of class as far as family and work and so forth. Okay, so you have to manage your time to make sure that things are done in a timely manner. Okay, suggested homework. There will be suggested homework uh, outside of class. I don't collect the homework. I won't grade the, the suggested homework, um, but I do take problems from the exercises at the end of the chapter. Uh, for the weekly quizzes, okay, so I am known to um, take problems from the back of the from the end of the chapter uh, based on what we cover in class the week before, okay, and, the, and use those in the weekly quizzes, okay. Now, the quizzes are going to be two types of quizzes. There are going to be uh, weekly quizzes, which covers material that we covered the prior week, okay. Um, and they're also what we call binder quizzes, okay? And these are quizzes that are given to um, make sure you're watching the videos, okay? And these are based off of the lecture guides that are on Blackboard. I'll show you where those are too. So if you're printing, I suggest you print off the lecture guides. Again, I don't look at them. I don't grade them. But I do uh, give binder quizzes that where you can use your binder and what the binder is is you you purchase a three wing ring binder and get a hole puncher uh, or use one on campus somewhere but what you're going to do is you're going to fill out as you're watching the videos you can fill out the information or you can read the textbook which i highly recommend but the guided notes go with the textbook so but they have missing pieces that you have to fill in based on what you're reading in the textbook and also you could do it from the videos but what I'm going to do is you're going to keep those written, those filled in uh, guided notes in a binder somewhere. Uh, it, and what I will do is I will give a binder quiz. And what I'll do is I will, you can use your binder to uh, for the quiz. I'll ask you to uh, uh, give me the, this definition or do that. And something that I know is going to be something you should have filled in on the, on the lecture guides. Okay. Okay, so those are the two types of quizzes I could give. Um, so there's going to be the weekly quizzes, and then from time to time I may give uh, a binder quiz. So you could have one to two quizzes a week, okay? Uh, not every week, but some weeks, okay? Uh, practice exams. There are practice exams on Blackboard that you can use to study from and, and practice. Uh, there are going to be Excel projects that are due. There are seven of them. And they're due on certain dates. Again, they'll be at the in the syllabus. I'll show you uh, the schedule. And again, there is um, I I do accept late on these, but it's a five point penalty for one day late. After that, you get a zero. Okay. Again, I highly recommend you don't turn these in late and that you don't fall behind. Okay. Uh, final exam, there is a comprehensive final exam that will cover all of the topics uh, that we cover throughout the semester. Uh, extra credit. Okay, so there is opportunity for extra credit. Uh, in fact, you get 10 points of extra credit that goes towards exam uh, test points, exam scores. Um, so those 10 points can be used on the exams. Uh, and the t extra credit is given for turning in and submitting the last two pages of the syllabus uh, through Blackboard. And again, I'll show you where that is on Blackboard. Okay. There are other opportunities for um, extra credit, and those are by doing uh, extra credit essays. And again, um, those are I'll show you where those are on Blackboard, the instruction on Blackboard. Um, these are based on books that you may read that I feel are important, that are valuable, um, that have uh, quite a bit of statistics in there. Also, great information to help you. Now, they're, they're, it's for extra credit, so you don't have to do it. Okay, it's up to you. But uh, again, um, I'll show you the, where the information is on Blackboard, and then you can read it up and then choose whether you want to do it or not. Okay, attendance. There is uh, attendance points, so you get two points per class, and if you're late, um, then you lose a point. If you leave early, you lose a point. Okay, so please make sure you come and stay the entire class period. It's not a huge part of your grade, but it does, it can make the difference between 
um, one grade versus another grade if you're borderline, okay? Um, also, if you miss a class, you don't show up to a class, it's your responsibility to make sure that you get the notes that you missed, any announcements, uh, and know what assignments were, uh, are due or what's coming up, okay? Switching classes, of course, uh, after two weeks, uh, I don't allow students to switch to another class uh, for obvious reasons, unless it's something that uh, is outside your control, like a work schedule change. And again, you'll have to provide documentation uh, showing that. Classroom behavior, I'll let you read that. Common sense, but uh, you know, again, uh, read that uh, on your own. Uh, tape and phone recording guidelines. Okay, this is about recording lectures. Again, make sure that you read this. Um, you have to have my permission uh, as part of the process of recording. So if you want to record lectures, I usually don't mind. But again, um, it, let me know you're going to be recording lectures, whether it's uh, video or audio, um, so that, again, that I'm aware of it. Uh, so again, read the guidelines. Uh, withdrawals, again, pay attention to withdrawal dates for this class, okay? Again, you are responsible for knowing when to withdraw to avoid getting a failing grade or uh, what have you, okay? So read the withdrawals. Uh, here are some additional resources. Again, the Tutoring Center. You want to use the Math Tutoring Center all, as much as you can to help you, especially with this class. There are many tutors there that can help you with statistics. Um, they are very good with the job. I love the tutoring center at CLC. So please do not hesitate to use the tutoring center to help you understand the material so that you get a good grade in this class and get the grade that you want. They're there to help you uh, just like I am. Okay, so here's some other information on counseling services that you can read about. Uh, Office of Students with Disabilities, if you feel that you have a disability or if you do have a disability and need accommodations, make sure you talk to them uh, because I cannot and will not give accommodations uh, unless I have the proper documentation from them. Uh, statement of Academic Integrity, basically it comes to, down to plagiarism and cheating. Um, it is frowned upon and taken very serious here. Um, I have failed students for cheating in my classroom. So uh, usually failing an exam, but I have also ended up, unfortunately, failing um, a student once. Okay, so again, it's it's very it's a it's a co very common problem in education today, and it is um, we have very strict guidelines on that. So please, 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 don't um, test me on it. Okay, so again, read this. Okay, additional information, email. Please allow me 24 hours to respond to you at email. Okay, I usually respond much sooner than that, but allow 24 hours to respond, except on the weekends. I very seldom respond to email on the weekend. So please make sure that uh, you email me during the week. Or if you email me during the weekend, just be realize that um, you may not hear from me until Monday. Uh, usually I'll check my email, but again, it's not guaranteed on the weekend. I, I do take the weekends off uh, for my family and, and uh, I do deserve some time off. So, But during the week, Monday through Friday, I'm pretty much checking my email all the time. Weekends, not so much. Okay, here are the important dates you want to know. Again, again, based on the semester, based on whether it's spring, fall, uh, these dates will change. Okay. So again, make sure you read the syllabus and pay attention to the important dates. Here are my tips for success. I highly recommend that you read these and that you apply them. Okay, it is expected that for every um, hour that you spend in class, you should be spending at least two to three hours outside of class studying the material. Okay, and that does not change just because we're doing a flipped classroom. It just means that instead of the hour that we're spending in class, we're taking one of these two hours, two to three hours, and we're devoting that to, you know, making sure that you're watching the videos, okay? So it's, you're still gonna have time after, outside of class that you should be using 
to read the textbook, study your notes, do the homework, study, making sure that you're prepared for the exams, okay? Just because it's a flipped classroom and you're going to be doing work in class doesn't mean that it, it just is going to stop outside of class, okay? It doesn't work that way. Okay, here are the expectations. I'm not going to go over those. Uh, you can read these at your leisure. Okay, and here's the schedule. Okay, so just so you're aware. Okay, so the first day, like for example, in this example, there's no class. So I have here, make sure you watch the video. Okay, and make sure you read the syllabus. Okay, now for day one. Okay, day one that we're going to meet in class is this day, for example. That means if you look here, section 1, 1, and 1, 2, okay, have these topics. Okay, now these here, these minutes, these times, these are the, for the lecture videos. All of this, all this is saying is this is how long the lecture video is on Blackboard for this section, 1, 1. And this is how long the lecture video is for section one two. Okay, now that doesn't mean that we're going to spend 42 minutes on this and 43 minutes on this in class. Okay, we're going to be talking about all both of these in class based on what questions you have, uh, what you're working on, what you got stuck on, what you didn't understand. Okay, so if you didn't understand something, let me know. I don't have any problem doing a small mini lecture on a topic that students are having trouble with. Uh, you know, 15, 20 minute uh, mini, mini lecture is not um, out of the ordinary or unheard of, okay? But I do want to let you know, these are the times that the lecture videos are, okay? So this would have to be, so I would expect on this date, before you walk in the class, that both of these videos for both, the videos for both of these sections have been watched. You've got your notes, you're ready with your questions before you walk into the classroom. Okay, so again, keep in mind, this is in your corner, this is the balls in your court on making sure this happens. If you don't watch the videos before class, that's like skipping lecture. Okay, and you all know that if you don't go to class and, or if you skip lecture, you're not going to do well in the class. There's a high probability high correlation between watching the videos, I, in other words, attending lecture and doing well in a class. Okay. And so here's the, I got due dates for homework. I've got uh, dates for when the exams are. So everything is in the syllabus. There's no guessing about anything. Okay. So again, make sure you familiarize yourself with the syllabus and please reach out to me if you have any questions. Okay, let's go back to Blackboard. Okay, so let's go through a couple of things the way this is organized. Okay, so you've got, here's how you're going to um, submit the last two pages. Okay, actually, let me go back because I didn't go through the last two pages. So let me bring that back up. Okay. Okay, so if we go to the last two pages, so we've got a student information sheet. So I want you to fill this out with all your information, okay? Um, hobbies, interests, what you like to do, and then something unique, interesting, or funny, embarrassing. What it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to share, whatever you're comfortable with sharing. Don't be shy. You can surprise me. I've heard it all. So all information is kept confidential. It this is just a way that I get to know you as a person because I'm going to talk a lot about myself and I'm going to share information about me. And so you're going to get to know me. I'd love to get to know you. And then the last page is a signature page. Okay, so fill this out, um, sign it, date it. And then what you're going to do is print this off, complete it out, fill it out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to scan it. You can take a picture of it or scan it and then attach it in Blackboard like an email. Attach it like you would attach an email. Uh, attach a file to an email. It's very, very similar to that. And then you're going to submit it for the extra credit. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Now, what you could do is you could use one of the copiers on campus. 
okay? And one easy way to do it is if you use the copier and copiers on campus, there's a scan and send option. So what you could do is you could put the completed last two pages on the copier, and then you choose the scan and send option. And under the scan and send option, there is another option called send to myself. And that, if you choose that option, it will scan the documents and it will automatically email them or, or attach them to an email and email them to your student email account at uh, CLC, okay, which I think is fantastic. It's very easy. Now, the thing is, is you're going to get an email uh, pretty much immediately and it's going to be like a nonsense email. The subject will just be a bunch of numbers. It will make no sense. But that will be your, it will have your attachment. And what you'll do is you'll just open the attachment, download it to your computer. And then from there, uh, once you've downloaded and saved it to your computer, then you can just easily go to Blackboard, as I'm going to show you in a minute, and just attach it and you're done. Okay. Now the other way is you could take a picture of it after you're done, take a picture of the two pages, and then send those uh, pictures to yourself via email, right? You can send them as an email to yourself, and then you can do the same thing. You can download them, save them to your desktop uh, or laptop, and then once you do that, then you can just go through the process I'm going to show you and just attach them through Blackboard. Okay, now, how do you attach them through Blackboard? So if you go to here, the last two pages of syllabus submission, okay? Now, all you have to do is you click on this, and then you go through and you click on Browse Computer, and it's going to bring up your computer. And all you have to do is just search your desktop or wherever you saved it, whatever file is, and just choose the file. Well, and it'll probably be a PDF or a picture if you did that way. So if I just, if I do this, let's choose this file, it's a PDF. And you just double click on it it'll attach it and you'll see it right here okay and then once you attach it then you just hit submit now if you have more than one thing to attach then you have to go through the process uh, of browsing and, and attach them or you could you could attach um, more than one <clears throat> at a time for example I could choose this one and then hit the control hold down the control key and choose this one and open them both and now I've got three so you can attach multiple ones and then hit submit now you only will be able to hit submit one time so make sure you have the correct document attached and make sure you have if there's more than one document attach them both first before you hit submit if you make a mistake email me as soon as possible and please do not wait till the last minute to email me or in, well to attach these and email and submit them because if you make a mistake and it's right at the deadline chances are I'm not going to respond um, very quickly because I, I might be busy so again uh, sooner rather than later so I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to attach these okay so if you have any questions about this please reach out to me I'll be more than happy to help you uh, either in class or outside of the class. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so course material. This is the meat and potatoes. Okay, so the way I have it set up is I have the textbook. So I have the textbook PDF. This is the entire textbook. Okay, now I have it split up in the chapters here uh, under these units. So there are four units that we're going to take a look at. These are the statistical tables, but I also have the tables uh, here as well. Uh, maybe I don't. I used to. Okay, so the statistical tables are here. So again, we're not going to use tables in this class. I'm, I have them. I show you how to use them, but we're not going to be using tables. We're going to be using the calculator. Um, so one thing you can keep in mind that I'm going to say in class is when it comes to showing you the tables in the videos, you may skip the parts in the videos where I go over the tables because I'm, we're not going to spend a lot of time using tables. Um, we're going to use the calculator, okay? So if you don't want to watch the entire videos when it comes to uh, the tables, you don't have to. There are going to be some tables that you're going to have to know, 
but I will let you know which tables, and that's going to be later on in the um, in the semester. But anyway, um, and then here are some PowerPoint examples that I gave, give solutions to as well. Okay, and I'll get to those ones too. So unit one, I'm going to use unit one as an example. Okay, so in unit one, the way I have these organized is here are all the chapters that are covered in unit one. Okay, so here if I go into chapter one. I've got folders in here that are helpful for you in chapter one. Now, the most important folder you're going to want is this one, the lecture video, and here's where the guided notes are, and here's the chapter text. So here's the PDF of chapter one. So if you just want to open chapter one, I've got it right here for you. Okay, so you can read the textbook, and again, that's like a requirement. You should be reading the textbook for this class, okay, but you need to watch the lecture videos. Okay, so here are where the lecture videos are. So here's all the lecture videos for chapter one you, that you need to read. So here's section 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3. You need to watch these videos. Okay. Okay, now let's go back. Okay, now. Oh, also, I will have notes in here. Okay, I, it, they'll be in blue. Pay attention to the notes. The notes tell you something about the video that is important for you to know. Okay, so if you don't want to waste time on some of these videos, pay attention to the notes that I have. Okay, it'll it'll help you. Okay. Okay, so there's lecture videos, and then I have the powerpoints. Now these powerpoints are not required. These are powerpoints I have used to teach the class. There's lots of examples in here. I highly recommend that you use these PowerPoints for practice and for helping you understand the material. They're there as a resource, okay? Do you have to look at them? No, but I would. And here's the guided notes. Okay, these are what I was talking about with the, uh, as far as with the binder quizzes. Okay, so if you open this up, Okay, so here's the guided notes for chapter one. Okay, so you've got some definitions you need to fill out, inferential statistics, what is a population, what is a sample, right? Here's a diagram you could fill in. Okay, and here's some examples. You know, what is a parameter? What is a statistic? Here's examples. Fill in the table, right? What are the parameters that you use? What are the symbols for the parameter that you use for each of these? What is a statistic, right? And then there's some examples you can work out, okay? And again, if you get stuck on these, uh, these are in the textbook, or if they're not in the textbook, they're very similar to examples in the textbook, and then you fill these out, and guess what? When you come to class, you can ask me, hey, are these correct? And we can go over these in class, or if you want me to go over these in class, we can, okay? So these are for your benefit, okay? Now, if you look here, let me open up, uh, let me go back and let me look at open up the PDF here. So here's the folder. Here's the PDF. Okay, now notice that if you read through this, it gives you all the key terms, right? Statistics, right? Descriptive statistics, inferential statistics, population sample. They're all right here. All the answers right here. Oh, look at that. Population and sample. Oh, parameter, statistics. See here? Here's all of the information, okay? So it's got all the information right here in the textbook to help you fill out the guided notes. Now, I give you the same information in the videos. So again, you could use the guided notes in the videos, or you could use the textbook with the guided notes. You'll get the same information. But the point I'm making is that the guided notes will help you with studying, but it will also help you with the binder quizzes that will come up from time to time. Okay. Oops. So let's go back to here. Okay, so each chapter is set up the same way, exactly the same way. And the last thing is the suggested homework. Here are the suggested homework that I ask you to, to do. Again, this is not graded. It's suggested homework for more practice. So I, I want you guys to be successful in this class. Now, the one thing to keep in mind is I will I will pick a problem or two uh, not very many because I don't want, want to spend a lot of time for, with you guys doing the quizzes, but I will pick uh, a few, a handful of 
questions um, for you to take a quiz every week based on the previous week's material. Okay, so for example, if I go back to the syllabus, let's go back to the uh, the schedule here. So here, uh, so here on the first week, we're going to cover this uh, based on this calendar, based on this schedule. We're going to cover one 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 two for the first week. Okay, that means next week on Monday. Typically, I give my quizzes on Monday, uh, the weekly quizzes. I will give you a problem or two, maybe one from this um, section, maybe one from this section, or maybe I'll give you three problems. And I will give those to you on Monday of this day. So on this Monday, it will be problems covering this material. Then this Monday, I will give you problems covering this material. Okay. So make sure that you're doing it. Now, where do those problems come from? Well, they come from the suggested homework. Okay. <clears throat> Every now, each chapter folder is set up exactly the same way as this one. Okay. And now, some of them have some extra stuff, but pretty much they're most all of them are set up the same way. So, chapter two. So here's chapter two. Here's the suggested homework. Lecture videos. Okay. So again, these are all the lecture videos for chapter two. Ah, here, here we go. So now look at here. It says only watch up to the 35 minute mark. Okay. So some the rest of this you don't have to watch. Okay. Note the common rule for outliers. So again, keep in mind. Okay, there are these are important information about the videos that you're gonna want to know. Okay. Let's go back to course materials. Okay, so uh, these are the tables that we're going to be using. Okay, or I'm going to use, but we're not really going to use a lot of these. Okay, they're there basically as a reference. Um, okay, so now course materials, again, so now calculator help. This is a good uh, place. If you're not used to the calculator, it'll help you with instructions and doing different things on the calculator. Okay, so again, it goes through all of these things on the calculator for you. Okay, very, 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 very good website that was created for the, these classes. Uh, assigned homework, here's where the assigned homework is at. Okay, with the due dates, look at that. I even have the due dates here for you. And then Excel homework, here are the Excel homeworks. Okay. I've got Excel notes and a folder Excel examples of how to do everything for each one of these homework assignments. Okay, and here are is where I'll put the solutions for these homework assignments. So once they're submitted, I will supply you with the solutions. Okay, but the main thing is is these work the same way like an attachment. So here's the instructions. So you click on this for the instructions. And it's just a document, it's a Word document. Okay. And then what you'll do is you'll open this up and you follow the instructions. And make sure you follow the instructions. Okay. Make sure you read these carefully and follow the instructions. And if you have any questions, ask me in class. Okay. Send, or send me an email and I'll work that out in class. Okay. So once you do this, once you follow the instructions and do all of this in Excel, okay. And again, you this is something you could work on in class if you don't have any questions and you're and you're good with the material. Okay? Or if you get stuck on something, you can ask me in class, okay? But you must, now here's the thing. You must use the resources that are available to you. Okay? In other words, in these two folders. Everything to do the Excel assignments is in these two folders, okay? And you do not need to be an expert, and you do not need any prior experience with Excel to do well. Okay, you just need to be able to read and and follow directions. Okay. Now, once you have the Excel file saved and you're ready to submit, then you click on this link here, and it brings you to a place where you can again browse your computer, click on 
the file to attach and then once your file is attached and please make sure it's the correct file before you hit submit and again if you submit the wrong file okay please email me as soon as possible okay and please do not wait till the last minute to do these assignments and turn them in because again if you make a mistake and you email me and it's too late it's too late okay I'm gonna grade whatever you submit okay so again it's the balls in your court on these okay so I'm gonna cancel this and uh, okay and then here's where I'm gonna put the quiz solutions are found here so all the weekly quizzes are gonna be here uh, uh, practice exams and solutions are going to be here and then the exam solutions are going to be here okay so when you're after the exams after the exam is taken I will post the solutions to the exams here for your reference okay and you could use these to also study from for the final okay so good sources uh, extra credit essays this is where you're going to find the information on the extra credit here are the instructions okay make sure you read the instructions for the extra credit essays if you and then you know if you want to do one um, and it, each essay that you do that you choose to do is worth 10 extra credit exam points okay so you can do up to three so read the instructions you can read up to three books okay you have to do a, an essay in each book and if you do the essay each essay is worth up to 10 extra credit exam points okay but again uh, it's something you don't have to do if you don't want to but it's free points okay and you'll learn something out of it I guarantee it uh, extra credit uh, essay submissions again click on here when you're ready to submit your essay or essays okay um, let's see here and uh, and that's about it that's the rest of this I'm not going to go over uh, but the rest uh, that's about it yeah that's all I want to cover so again um, if you have any questions please email me let me know uh, before class starts but make sure that you watch the videos before the first day of class that you're ready because we are going to hit the ground running the first day of class okay and so you don't want to be behind the eight ball well I mean it wouldn't be the end of the world but again I wouldn't want to start the first class and then to have these videos to watch and, and and play catch up okay in the beginning it's it's not hard to play catch up uh, unless it's an eight-week class in an eight-week class you you gotta watch the videos and there's just no ands ifs or buts about it you gotta you gotta watch the videos okay uh, 16 week class it's not it's not a that big of a deal but again I, I I want to help you guys make sure that you avoid any pitfalls okay again email me email me before classes start uh, email me after classes start whatever questions you have I'm here to help you as much as I can um, so please don't hesitate to reach out to me uh, if you have any questions or uh, concerns about anything. Other than that, have a great day, and I'll look forward to seeing you in class and look forward to helping you uh, be successful in this class. Okay, take care.